Welcome to my house. I am Frumpy Buckle 107, and we are on the Fishing Planet Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Uh, this game is wonderful. In fact, I'm about to get divorced. My wife, <laughs> I spend way too much time. But hey, you know, what are you going to do when you're old and retired like me? So anyway, Frumpy Buckle, who am I? Uncle Buck. We're fishing with Uncle Buck. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to put out a set of videos and we're going to take you through this fishing planet simulator. These guys got it right. They got it right. The tackle works. The waterways work. Um, there's a few glitches as with any game out there. I'm not a gamer by no means. Uh, so don't get me there. I'm not going to teach you how to beat this game, you know. There's guys out there, here, throw here, throw there, throw there, you'll be out of here in 20 minutes and no, it don't work that way. And this is, it, some of these lakes are tough. It, it, get ready to put some time in here and there. But we're going to learn how to fish. We're going to have fun. I'm going to be your guide. I'm going to take you through each waterway, every fish that's available. And we're going to do that. We're going to catch them all. We're going to learn about fishing tackle, learn about poles, uh, learn how to read a lake. <clears throat> it's going to be a lot of fun. And with that said, let's go ahead and start. I imagine if you're on this video, you're looking at this video, you've either one downloaded the game already and been through the tutorial and you're a little bit lost on, okay, what do I do next? Because they give you, you know, they give you a pole, they put a circle out there, throw it here, catch a fish. Okay, you're good to go. Let's go. Well, that's all well and good. And you can stumble through it, but let's learn how to fish. Let's go ahead and take it there. Let's look at what we've got how we start so you've got a globe and here is the globe and it's all the fisheries the waterways and with each level like down here at blue crab you got to be at level 54 i'm at level 52 i can't go to blue crab yet <laughs> been there for a month but we'll talk about that later and then you know you can float around and there's waterways over here and as you open each one of them up they turn white and then they give you a nice little quick dose of what the weather forecast is right there so we got sunny we got clouds sunny sunny clouds and that's the important thing to know if you want to go and fish like it rains a lot at emerald lake i love to fish at emerald lake we'll get down there when we get to there there's walleye there up to yin yang and that's one of my farming lakes but it rains a lot there so you know it's it's like everywhere else in the world but we all start out here it's lone star lake it's free um you don't have to pay a travel cost to go there. The license are basically unlimited uh, for the basic license. Now remember, you don't ever want to fish anywhere with a basic license. That limits the amount, of, the type of fish you can take. Um, you'll get fines, and I'm going to show you that in the next video because I haven't bought a license here yet. I've left it the the the, the um, actual advanced license. I have not purchased that yet. And we'll go ahead and I'll show you the difference when we fish in the next video. And we'll go ahead and, and uh, what happens when you don't have an advanced license. Um, you can catch the fish, you get the XP, but you can't keep the fish, you don't get the money. In this game, money is everything. Money and gold. These are bait coins and this is your money. And it takes money to go anywhere other than Lone Star Lake. You have to have money. Watch your money wisely, build your tackle wisely, and you'll be able to move along in the game. All right, so let's move along here. We got, so we have, they give us the Lone Star Lake. It tells you a little bit about what's going on at that lake, a little bit of history about it, and the upcoming competitions and tournaments will be shown down here at this part. Right? It gives you a weather forecast here. Now let me tell you something else. Uh, don't just go to a lake and come back, get your fish and come back home to when home is considered a Lone Star Lake because you'll spend a lot of money on travel costs and license. When you get to a lake, stay on it for a couple of days, build up your net, bring home your money. Money is everything in this game. It's everything. So then you get a weather forecast. So you can look here, see day one, two, and three. And what this describes are your fish bite rates. These are your bite rates when it's best to fish. So you got your between 12 o'clock and 5 o'clock. And then if you switch into the night, you got a lower bite rate here. But as it comes up, it gets hotter around 3 o'clock in the morning. A lot of the lakes are that way. They give you either a single peak in the morning and a double peak on days. 
and when you see the orange up here that's hotter of course more bite rate better chance of catching fish and these go down for and like i said i when i go out and i'm farming i spend seven eight days on a lake and and bring it and you can bring in a hundred thousand dollars and if you're on a premium account um you can bring in i spent nine days over uh, on a lake the other day and you know i made six hundred thousand dollars so it, it can be done <clears throat> Anyway, this gives you everything about it. Barometers are important when the fish bite and all of this. Gives you your statistics. I suggest keeping a journal too. I keep a journal and it's, it's I keep it in OneNote and it's just basically fishing conditions, what I was fishing with, what I got. And as we go through the videos, you'll get to see that journal. And who knows, I might even put it out somewhere, you know, in, in a little bit where everybody can get a hold of it. It's my fishing that I've done and all the notes that I've taken throughout. But we're going to go back through. I went back, got myself some, I have larger poles, but I got smaller poles that are back for, as a beginner would have. And we're going to go through that. So then you have your fish species. It tells you each fish that are in that lake, what they preferred baits are. And some of them are preferred live baits. And then you have preferred lures, what you can catch them on with lures. And we're going to take you through and I have <clears throat> the rods that we're going to fish for each one of them with the different types of tackles. And then of course I explained before you have your licenses over here and always always buy the advanced license do not even bother going somewhere with a basic fishing license because you just and you get fined quite a bit and we'll, I'll show you that fining process over on Lone Lon Starlight. And then you have your travel costs, transfers, one days, totals, and you can up them. Don't bother to pay for it here. You can pay for it when you're on the lake. If you're going to extend, you just extend, and that's basically how you sell your fish and make money. So don't even bother with this here. It's not worth it. And then you have a travel. So then your travel. Now, as you can see, Lone Star costs you nothing to go to. And I think the very next lake that opens up is I think it's Mudwater Level 4 Mudwater River River that cost you 1200 to go to and of course if you go get the license for the Mudwater advanced license now you're up to $400 now when you get up to the higher levels where I'm at your license costs 8000 and your travel costs are like 12000 to get there so it is expensive um, that's why I said money means everything <laughs> So mind your manners, mind your money, and for you younger folk, <laughs> this is a good teach you how to manage your money. All right, so you've got all this to your left side. It gives you everything, your weather forecast, your species, blah, 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 blah. Now let's move over to inventory. Inventory is where you're going to deliver everything out of. This is where you basically live. You are given a backpack, and your backpack starts off very small. Uh, you, you only have, I think it's like... 30 or 40 items in it that you can carry in your backpack and then you have your home and your home starts off and it, it has a certain allotment and as you go through this game you can buy more storage space and like I said money is everything your storage space costs you gold gold is very hard to come by hang on to your gold if you want to fish barbless hooks it costs gold and we'll talk about those in later videos but for right now you've got an inventory this is where everything is kept so you have a tackle box where your rods and reels are kept your line is kept your terminal tackle and these are sinkers and as such and when you're seeing this anything that's grayed out it means that it cannot be applied to the rod that you currently have up in the inventory so if we go to, like these are all these hooks and I have an ultralight sitting here. If I moved over to another rod, um, then I have a, these are the things that are not grayed out that are available that I can equip that particular rod with. Now in this game, there are about eight different rods. Um, you start off, you have a spinning rod, you have telescopic rods, you have match rods, uh, you have casting rods. And you have bottom rods, carp rods, and spot rods. And we'll get through each one of them as you level up. You'll need certain rods. They start you off, though, basically with a, an ultralight spinning rod. They give you a match or telescopic rod that they want you to start off with. <clears throat> and a casting rod. 
Now, I've sold a lot of my smaller gear, but I've equipped myself. I did keep some of them. I have an ultralight that's pretty close to what you'll get at level 1, 2, and 3. Then I've got my Omni Float 11.5, which is what they call a float rod. It's a max rod. And it's nice because I'll teach you they, these rods. And this game is really good because you can throw this and cast it, or you can use it as a flipping stick. Now, stick. In my videos, you may hear me say stick, weapons, poles. That all means a fishing rod. So I keep my sticks, and this is a flipping stick to me, and it's basically a match rod, and you can throw it either way, and the game allows you to do it both ways. So you can get a lot of good quick fish flipping off of docks and things of that nature without doing putting in the time of reeling the fish in, because when you're farming, let's face it, time is money. You don't want to be wasting a lot of time, 15, 20 minutes fighting a fish. Some of these fish, if you go undersized, you will fight them for 20 minutes. I fought fish in this game for an hour. It's what you want to do. And I'll explain the difference between XP and under gear and oversized gear in a little bit. So you have different rods, you have different cases. As you start off, you probably only have one or two slots for a rod. Uh, like I said, I've been up there, I've bought equipment, I, I carry seven gears with me all the time. But we're going to take an ultralight with us, we're going to take a float rod flipping stick that I call it and then we're going to take <clears throat> a telescopic rod. Now this is a telescopic, this is a match rod, and this is an ultralight. And they gear up differently. If you look at the gear setups on here, you can see that this one here is a 10 pound, line weight of 10 pound, real weight of 8 pound, and you always want to try to match your gear. You keep it matched, evenly matched, because your wear and tear on, on your stuff is better that way. You don't want it undermatched where you're putting a lot of pressure on your rod, or you're putting a lot of pressure on your reel, or you're putting a lot of pressure on your line. So you want to keep them evenly matched, and this game will teach you, and it gives you bar graphs, and it shows you how to keep your stuff evenly matched, and that way it works out pretty good for you. All right, so then we have, that's our inventory, and you have a backpack, you have your home, specials. Specials are any trophies that you get along the way when you care, when you go after the monsters and things of that nature. You'll get carpet when you catch things, and you have challenges along the way. And it's nice that you get little trophies and stuff like that. Then you have your shop. Now, your shop is where you buy everything. This is where it's all at, and... I can't stress this enough. Make sure you're loaded up with the bait that you're going to need for the fish that you're going to go after on the waterway. Once you get, if you leave something at home, you can't get to it. Okay? Um, there are local bait shops at every waterway, and those local bait shops sell specific items. You may not be able to get that particular item that you've lost or broken or forgot at that bait shop. So you can be really in bad shape. So remember your bait, remember your bait shops. In my notes, I, I give each lake, there's my notes, I go by each lake and I give the, the, so ahead of time you will know what they actually give you, what's available at that bait shop. So if you wanna let me get, send me a line, if you wanna get a copy of my notes, we can work something out there. And that's a big help. So, you have a fishing plant mega store, you can get your rods here. You buy rods, and it's as you level up, this is level 3, come, becomes available, level 5, this becomes available, and it, the rods get better. Of course, they cost more money, and to repair rods costs a lot of money. A lot of money. Actually, I'm going to get out of the way here so you can see everything. There we go. Now, you've got everything. And my big ugly face is not in the way and as you level up you see here that this is available at level 30 it's a star 30 level 30 and they get heavier in weights so they 24 pounders and as you go forward you're going to hunt for bigger fish so for right now you're lower level we're all starting out lower level that's what we're going to fish in these videos and so you end up down here and this is where you start out at, and like a telefloat. I think that's the first thing. I think the first rod I had was a telefloat 14 knot. <clears throat> and 
you go through your reels and like I said you want to match your reels to the weights so the weights are the same here they give you a maximum drag on this one is 2.75 so you don't want to put that on on something that's a pole that's 10 pounds that's not going to work good so you keep everything evenly matched and we'll go over them as we go to each fishing trip so your shops this is where you'll spend a lot of time you can buy your boats as you get older or as you get more money in you and then your missions now missions you don't have to do these uh, i did them because it gives you a purpose it gives you something look at them after these fish and after that you learn the different types of hook sizes because not all the fish are the same now i've completed everything so what we'll be doing is I'll just go back through, we'll pick out the first Lone Star Exploration 1, these are the fish that we'll have to get, and we'll go back through and I'll show you where and how to catch these fish. We'll do that, and that's the missions. And in the missions, along with that is, they give you a bunch of specialty things, the St. Paddy's Day was just over with not too long ago, so everybody got crazy over that, hunting all these Irish fish, which was kind of fun. And then you have your completed missions, which is on every waterway. Normally there's one, two, and maybe three missions, and then a monster fish. So our, the monster fish videos will be separate. I'm not going to do any of them while we're out fishing. Um, we'll just be taking care of the explorations, mostly one and two. And if there's a third one, we'll go for that. Now sport, here in the sport, this is where you can find out what competitions are being held on what waterways. And I highly... Once you get up to a certain level where you're comfortable with your tackle box, you're comfortable with what you got, go ahead and fish these. these this is great. Great to do these. A lot of fun to fish these tournaments and these competitions. And you can get cost. There's custom competition. There's tournaments that come up. Nothing right now, I guess. Hall of Famers. And so this is where you'll find that kind of stuff. Now, premium. This is your premium shop. This is your home. This is where you can, for real money, if you're going to spend real money, this is where it's at. Premium shop. You can get a premium account for a day for two bucks. <laughs> 50 Bitcoin for three bucks. And it adds up. Before you know it, you're broke. Pond passes and these again will get you on access. So if you're not leveled up there, it gives you that and you can have deals. Now, I will talk about because i did it and it's a way to for to fast track but the, some of the fishing packs are well worth i mean you can the the, the rigs combo pack is a good pack right there uh, for for a starter just getting started the advanced pack for twenty dollars i mean you can grab that that gives you pretty much in these packs they give you seven days of premium account bitcoins for 20 20 000 currency and then you get some really decent rods um, you can buy them, but these are going to these are going to accelerate um, your experience, so to speak. You you will get extra tackle. You will it, it'll take you a long time to buy these rods. And for twenty dollars, it's going to take you a, these. As I said in the store, rods and reels are very expensive, and they're very expensive to repair when you're out on the water. Remember that. Um, there's two ways to fish this stuff. You can go out with light tackle and gain a lot of XP and a lot of money. However, when you get off the water, it's going to cost you a lot of money to fix that gear up because you beat it up. If you're catching 20-pound fish on 10-pound gear, yeah, you can do it, and it's a lot of fun. And you get a lot of XP and you get a lot of money while you're sitting there fishing. But it, what it hits you is when you go home and now you have to repair those rods it costs a lot of money so and we'll take you through there and the next step up here would be the this is basically your profile it tells you your standing it tells you your tournaments that you've fished it tells you your fish records up to this point and the challenges that you've had now here you can find the leaderboards global competitions fish and this is a good thing to do if you're going to go out on a lake and you and, and you want to and you and you basically you want to um, find out what size are the fish that are in there. So you could go location and pick. We're going to go to Lone Star Lake, and we say Lone Star Lake, and this will give you. Now this happens to be the monster fish in there, the mad eye buffalo that everybody's after, and it'll give you a big one, so it'll probably only lift just the mad eye. But there's smallmouth buffalo in there. There's 
I mean, there's a lot of panfish in there. But these are where you keep your records. And if you catch a big one, you get ranked in here. And it's kind of nice if you're in the top 100. I have a, I have a few fish in the top 100, so it's okay. All right. And then over here, basically, is... I mean, all right. These are for your friends. When you have friends and you fish with friends. I don't fish with anybody, so I don't have any friends at the moment. And then you have tutorials that you can go down through and list. And you can learn this. And this actually gives you a lot of information. I did. I went through every one of them. And it's, it's very helpful. So if you're just getting started, sit down, do the tutorials. You'll be ahead of the game. All right, now we're going to jump here. Final story. This is your configuration. So you have your game, your languages. I go in English. I go in Imperial, I'm from the United States. A lot of the guys are out there are from Canada or overseas and they run and they run um, the metric system. So you need to be, if you're watching a video over there and they tell you 50 centimeters, you need to be able to convert that to what we use over here. And a quick rule of thumb is just subtract 30, 29 or 30 from it. So it says 50 centimeters, it's really 19, 18, 19 inches. And you'll be okay there. Big bobbers. I use a big bobber. I'm old. I'm blind. And I like to see them. Down here, you can turn everything on at first. I would probably suggest that you do that. It gives you everything to show snags. And as you get better, you can come in and fine-tune this to what you don't want to see. Um, your mouse. You can check your sensitivities here. Your key bindings. These are nice. They basically tell you on your keyboards what keys you use for rod stands to pull out your rod stand. And that's important. I use a PC system. I don't use Xbox or PlayStation. Um, so these keys all are fine for me in the up arrows and I do that and some of the controls to put a rod when you end up getting a rod stand and you need to put a rod down in a rod stand the controls here are the shift one shift two whatever position is in that rod stand uh, I have a programmable keyboard so I programmed the shift ones the shift twos just on my number pad so I could just hit a one hit a two and it picks that key, that rod up or it puts that rod down and we'll go over that in the other videos it, especially when you start fighting multiple fish it, it comes in handy because you can move it quickly but if you are using a controller that I guess they have this is the PlayStation uh, I don't know looks like it to me I don't know if it's Xbox 2 I don't know if they're both the same like I said I'm not a gamer your video um, if you have a system that'll run it I run everything I, I got a system that'll run it and You'll have to adjust that. You may get some lag in it, depending on how intense your video card is on your system. Um, audio is the same thing. Sound volumes, bite volumes. Boy, I wish we had a slider for that bite bell, the alarm bell, because that'll drive you nuts, and you'll we'll figure that one out. Of course, credits, support, and if you want to quit, you can quit the game. One thing to know is you can quit a game while you're on the lake. You don't have to go home. You can quit. When you come back, you'll be right back there where you left off. So that's a good thing to do. Okay. So we have the globe. We know where we're fishing. We have our inventory. We have our... We know understand what each slot is a pole, is a stick, is a weapon. Now, I wanted to show you this. When it's red, that means there's something missing in your setup. So if we go to this one, it's red, I'm missing bait. So if I go to my backpack, I go to my bait, and I throw a hunk of bait on there, it turns green. So you know, that, okay, now here, something's missing here. Four, what do we go here? And again, it's bait once again. So we can throw some bait on there, and it's on. And you can either double click from here, and it goes automatically, or you can drag and drop. It's either way, drag and drop, doesn't matter. Now, if it's white, that means you don't even have any equipment in that slot. So there it is. It's blank. You have a position for a rod, a reel, a line, a bobber, a hook. And depending on the rod you put on in here, it will change. So if we go home and we want to add another rod in here to our lines, we have rods. And let's see. We want to, we want to get something that's small. Okay, we'll go ahead and set up our value cast. This is one of the rods you first get. So we'll put a value cast in there, and if we look, that's a four to nine pounder. So then we need a reel to go with it. So do I have a nine pound reel here? 
These are all too big. Well, there's a six. There's one. 6.6. .6. We have one in our backpack. No. So we'll flip it to 6.6. That's not quite nine pounds, but that's the only reel I have right now. I probably sold one. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and equip that. Six, six. Now we have a reel. Now we need to put line on it. So, so our line. Now we look at this, our balance. We have a 6.6 six with a nine pound. So we need to, I would say, we will run six pound test on this because you don't want to go over the reel because it'll damage the reel. So we have to come in our box here and find six pound test. I think I have fluorocarbon for six pound. Yes, I do. Now this is important. It tells you here that this reel will two, mono two slash 100. That says two pound test 100. I'm Unfortunately, what they don't tell you, and I had to figure this out the hard way, that 100 is yards, okay? Over here, when you buy this, it tells you 300 yards, but it gives you how many feet are on and available out of that 300 yards. So if you have a brand new one, and you're like, a thousand yards is, of course, 3,105 feet. Now, you can only put hundred yards of two pound test. Well, that's 333 feet of two pound or four pound, but the reel will take six pounds. So we're going to basically don't try to figure this out. If you have six pound test, you can throw it on there. I don't have any. All I have left is 196. Well, we'll put eight pound on here just so I can show you what I'm talking about. We take eight pound and we throw it on here. It's going to tell you over here, well, up here the line is too strong, so it's going to tell you it's above what that can take, and it'll tell you the capacity of that. Don't you don't need to adjust. Out of all that line that's on there, that reel will only take 171, so you would cut it and put it on. But we're not going to do that because it's too strong. So we're going to take our six pound test, and we're going to add that. And again, it comes back and says. You only have 196. It'll take all 196. So yeah, put it on. Because you can get in trouble here if you don't have enough line. You can get spooled and lose fish. And again, so then you would build a hook and your bait. Now, with a bait caster like this, it's made for lures. So we would go over to our fishing lures. Here's a mini bash jig, and we put him on there. And now he turns to green, and we're ready to go fish with this stick. And he's good to go. So I hope that helped you out here. Um, this is pretty much, I've gone through everything. I know it was fast. If you need to stop the video and look at some things, you can. Um, but this is the world fishing plan. And it's going to be a lot of fun. You'll have a lot of fun with it. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead over to Lone Star. And we're going to go ahead and take care of mission number one. Which I believe we're going to hunt for crappie, red ear sunfish, the green sunfish, bluegill, golden shiner, and black tail shiner. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll be back with a, a lot more. So take care and have fun. Listen to the